you watch videos of guys doing boxe francaise, assor, combat, it's, it's tight, right? And every time, so it's, it's you're protected. Your elbows are in, your chin's down, your hands are up. And when they throw the techniques, really disciplined about keeping everything kind of, kind of tight while they're putting this stuff together. So it's not, you know, as we start to kind of kick higher and that sort of thing, we go like, and we loosen up our form a little bit. So when you're practicing drills that are like, you know, kind of easier drills, it's a good, so the, the drill you did, you did earlier with the, the jab, cross, kick, right? That's a good time just to practice, boom, boom. The footwork's there, my kick's there, and everything's tight, right? So just kind of, and the part, partner can just say it, right? Something simple as elbows in, chin down. Just simple cues, and, go, and then other tricks to do it, throwing a little tennis ball or something under your under your arms, tennis ball under your chin, and then you're here. So when you're when you're throwing the kicks, sorry, everything's nice and nice and tight. So you've got a, a good structure the whole time. Because we end up getting used to doing this, and I'm guilty of myself. I I had a picture of myself fighting in France. Great picture. I'm kicking the guy in the head, but I'm like this, right? And I'm like, oh, if only I was like this or like this, right? So Photoshop's a wonderful thing. <laughs> so yeah, so just I think it'll make you look much more to that. So when you continue to progress, it not only does it protect you better, make you a better fighter, but when you progress to the testing. It's gonna your structure is gonna your structure is gonna be there where the chin's down, hands are up, and you're you're in a good position to. And it's funny, way easier sitting back and just watching, right? Of course. And um, and we all do it. Sean and I do it where we throw the combo. So let's do it before the counter piece. So let's throw for this. So I'm here. I throw the little chasse. I throw the half one down, and then I uh, we'll cross, right? And then I cross. Boom. So if I do it again, I go, no shots day, have a fun out, cross. There's a tendency for us to go right after. Okay, I'm done. My work is done here. You know, it happens in the military all the time. It happens in fighting all the time. Sometimes the best time to counterattack is right after you defend against an attack. And so what we tend to do is when we practice back and forth, I go, boom, my work is done here. And we kind of go, okay. So if you just think, take it a little bit further than that, the end of that cross, cross, boom, and then I'm ready. I'm always ready for that counterattack. Is he, well, we know what's gonna happen when this follows up. Boom, right? So I gotta be ready for that, for that piece. So it's just not having that pause after throwing the combination. So I throw the, I throw the combo, I'm doing it slow just because I'm not out doing that, boom. And then I'm, I'm in that position where I keep that going. So I've always got this level of, of awareness and of always just being ready to, to move something out of the way if I need to. Yeah, a good point is to know that both sides are being judged, right? So you're being judged on your response after you finish that combo and how well you're able to defend and recover. And whether I succeed or not doesn't matter. Right? There's, no, there's no winner or loser, it's just if you are doing it correctly and your timing is right. And it's okay if he's better than me and he gets out before, if he escapes before I can do my, my coup de that's okay. That's that's a good point for him, okay? So, yeah. Yeah, just keeping that energy. 